Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Battle of Reykjavik. It's the first in quite a while. It's been a week in fact since the last video went out and it's been a week since I've played Football Manager. Mainly due to I had to revise for, for an exam which I completed this morning and I passed thankfully so now I can get on to Football Manager. So what I want to do first is obviously recap the results since the last video. Obviously in the last video we won both our games. Two wins in a live com which is some sort of record. And the last game was against Tinderstall in the Icelandic Cup quarterfinal. Since then we played three games and we're still going unbeaten. I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games unbeaten at the moment. And the first game we played was in the Premier Division. All the games we played have been in the Premier Division. And it was against Fjord I still haven't managed to go on that website, that how to pronounce website. So apologies if any if there's any Icelandic viewers that are that are just cursing me for pronouncing everything absolutely terribly. This one, we won last minute goal, last minute goal from Victor Johnson. We we deserved this. I know the shots say that they had the same number as us, but we deserved this so badly. Great pass from Good Johnson now right to Stein Grimson. Whips it in. Johnson's there. And I'm just in hysterics because I'm chuffed with that result. But as I was saying, nine shots each. You can tell from their shots on target we had we had better shot accuracy, but like their shot on target wasn't even a highlight in the game. We had all of the highlights in the game. Didn't see one for them, and we just outplayed them brilliantly. Kept a clean sheet as well, which continued our run of keeping cl clean sheets to five games. One, two, three, four. yep, five games. But unfortunately, that run ended against our bogey team, quickly becoming our bogey team, like near Reykjavik. Oh, so annoying. They took the lead 1-0. Then we equalised with Victor Johnson. Then they got a man sent off on the 67th minute. And we had all of the rest of the game. Got to the 88th minute. Stefan Paul Palsen with what I thought and wished was the winner from the penalty spot. Well, it wasn't actually from the penalty spot because the keeper saved it. But the rebound, because we can never score penalties. Very few penalties we have actually scored this season. We've had quite a few of them as well. But wasn't complaining. He, he stuck it away the second time of asking. And then, in the second minute of injury time, like near Reykjavik, go and equalise, don't they? So we still haven't managed to get a victory against them. 2-2. Two, two. It's better than the last two results, which have been 6-1 and 5-1, I think. So I can't really complain too much. But we were at home. I felt like that was two drop points in that game. And then we continued on, beat and run with a nil-nil ball draw away to Fjolnir. Fjolnir are in and around the relegation fight, just like us. They had all of this game. Um, th those possession stats literally just increased to 49% from like 44 in the last five minutes, or last 10 minutes, because we had lots of, lots of chances. But yeah, that was probably a lucky result for us, nil-nil. So... The match that I've got for you guys today is against KR Reykjavik, but just remembering, just before we go into that one, I have done a few transfers. The um, the window has just opened, so I've signed three people. So the first of which is Aikur Stefansson, who will be used as a defensive midfielder. He's 19 years old. Um, he's got some good passing, good tackling attributes. I'm mainly looking at the, the passing because our... The way we like to play is retaining possession and passing is obviously involved in that. And he's still quite young, so he's still got time to develop. Um, I know his star rating looks like it's only going to be two and a half maximum, but I think he's a good a good little player for us. And hopefully once he gets sharp enough, I'll be able to stick him in the starting lineup for a few games. Second sign-in, we actually paid for this guy. Three and a half thousand pounds for a 16 year old striker. His finishing is just top quality. He's a poacher as well. Uh, good acceleration and pace. He looks like he could be a pretty good player for us. And I'm, I'm really tempted to stick him into the team for this match against KR. He's, as you can see, he's got potential to be a four stars, possibly even five star rated player. I just think he's going to be really good for us. Uh, he has been playing in the first team, but well, he had been playing in the first team for Fulkier. But of course, they're in the league below us. 
he played four times, scored one goal. So he is making a bit of a jump. So I do want to try and get him some game time. So I might do that in this game, I might do it in the cup. I think the league's more important than the cup. It would be nice to get a trophy, obviously with the semi-final of the cup coming up against FH. But safety, keeping us up, that's the that's the main goal for this season. Um, and then the final signing was a free transfer. It was an it's an English person, Jonathan Barden. So a fellow countryman for me. And he's again defensive midfield, midfield centre. He's got because my my midfielders are obviously the defensive midfielder. He needs to be able to tackle and pass, and the the ball winning midfielder needs to do the same. So obviously this guy's passing isn't the best. It's it's okay, I guess, for for the level that we're playing at. And I, I like I like him to have good decisions as well. So hopefully that means that he's not going to be like doing stupid passes to the that to our players that are going to go straight to the opposition or anything stupid like that, hopefully. He's got 13 decisions. And then tackling is obviously key if he's playing ball winning midfield or defensive midfield. As like I said, I like to play with a ball winning midfielder and defensive midfielder and they both need to be able to tackle the centre midfield. One bad sign, however, is that he was with the team that got relegated last season, IBV. He did only play five times for them, so maybe if he played more, they wouldn't have got relegated. That's my view on that. And before that, he had like five, six years out of the game. But hopefully, when he does play, he'll be a, he'll be a good player for us. Uh, I think that's all that I had to tell you. Obviously, there we are in eighth position in the league. But as is always the case with this league, it seems it's just so tight. We could still even finish top. Theoretically, we could still definitely could still get a European place. Only seven points off third place where KR are. And of course, we could still get relegated. Only a point clear of the relegation zone. So a lot to play for with 13 games of the season gone. There's only nine games left. And this is, is it the fourth? The third or fourth time that we've played KR. We've played them quite a bit. So I'll just sort the team out and I'll be back okay guys so here we are for the KR Reykjavik Vikingo Reykjavik derby match in the Icelandic Premier Division and I have done what I said I might do I've put the 16 year old up front for his debut against the most decorated club in Icelandic football history this this can only go well can it We've had two suspensions for this game. Uh, I think it's they're both due to too many yellow cards. So it's good Johnson in centre midfield had to come out and Stefan Paulson in attacking midfield, he's also had to come out. And they've been replaced by Magnussen and Stephenson. Like I said, I've put the 16-year-old up front on his debut. We've also got the two other new signings on the bench, Barden and Stephenson. We've got a, a couple of Stephensons, it appears, to go with our, our duo, trio, sorry, of Johnsons. Lots of similar names in Iceland. So this is a big game. Hopefully we can continue our great defensive performance. This is obviously going to come back and bite me in the ass because I've just realised I'm actually saying that out loud and probably going to jinx us. But let's see how we get on in this all-important league match. So as you can see in the table on the right hand side, KR are third in the league, Especially that's especially good for them after their terrible start of the season where they were with us down the bottom of the table. And then we're mid-table, but obviously mid-table means nothing when you're actually only a point away from being in the relegation zone. So hopefully we can manage to get something from this game. I would be happy with a draw. Obviously away from home against the best team in Iceland. I, w I would definitely not complain about that. I'd love it if, if the 16-year-old just managed to get get himself on the score sheet. But KR got the ball deep in their own half now. Good interception from Radovnikovic. But KR still on the attack. And it's Anderson with a shot. Good save from Ahrens. Solid goalkeeping from the Dutchman there. And eighth, incidentally, just looking at the table again, we're in eighth currently. 
is the media's prediction of where we would finish, but KR have got a chance and it's blocked. And they've still got a chance. Oh, I hate that name, Leo Balbi. Just brings back bad memories. He had a great game against us the first time that KR played against us. Yes, eighth is the media's prediction of where we should finish. That's where we are currently. But in all the, the match previews and everything, they're saying that we're performing above expectations so far this season. Obviously, made them a few transfers. Probably shouldn't have given our financial situation. We're currently in the red. and But we get a new president elected at the end of December. Hopefully, he might... I don't know how it really works, but if he can put in some of his money maybe to to fund us, that would be nice. But of course, I'm expecting some of our better players to have bids put in for them. I really don't want to have to sell constantly, so it's not really something I want to do. As Basagog, he's new. That's a good... Is that not a block? Well, that was a terrible shot. I thought it was a block. We are on top on possession in this game, just not having any chances. We've had two shots, two off target. But KR must be playing... What's on the counter-attack at home? That's strange. Do we need to make any changes at half-time? Sigurdsson's not having the best of days, but it's nothing too concerning. 6.4, same with Agnesson. He was really coming on leaps and bounds at right midfield. Obviously, he's only young as well. He's 18? Yeah, he's only 18. He's valued at 19,000. We're going to get a few offers in for him. That's going to be a difficult one because I really, really do like him as a player. I'd like him to stay. He's obviously one of our youth, from our youth team, Kajunzic. He seems to be having terrible games constantly now. I'm actually thinking of maybe not even starting him anymore. So we're going to take Kajunzic off and we're going to bring John Johnson on. Because obviously Snorrison, who we normally start at right back, can't play at left back. And then we've got John Johnson who can come on, one of the Johnson trio, to come on at right back. Um, Stephenson on a yellow card. Is that something I should be concerned about? Possibly how many yellow cards has he got this season? I th no, he's had one. That was in the under 19s game. So he doesn't really seem like the type that would. He's valued it a lot as well. We've got a lot of high value players. I don't know why I just looked at the 16 year old when I said high value players. But let's see how we get on in the second half. Like I said, we're bossing it on possession. We just need to make more chances. Hopefully the lads will do so in the second half. But they are seeming pretty solid at the back. I keep on <laughs> saying stuff like this and I'm just so concerned that it's going to come back. To bite me. I've just seen Rolf Tofter scored for FH. He seems to be prolific still, scoring nearly every game from what I've seen for FH. Who we do actually play in the cup in the next game. But it's Basagog. Saved by Aaron Zo. Clear it, yes. I thought they were going to come in. Just knock that one in at the back post there. They've got an injury. Bjorn Paul Axen. We're still bossing it on possession, but we're not doing it anything with it great pass completion tackles one headers one okay i feel like a change should be made obviously 16 year old on his debut i don't think he's he's not performing that well so we'll bring victor johnson on who we're not gonna poach we're gonna play him as target man if that's how he normally plays and then Steingrimson's a bit tired, as Geisen's a bit tired. I do want to bring on either Barden or Stephenson at some point, but I think just because of their sharpness and even Stephenson's match fitness, I might wait until around the 75th, 80th minute mark to do that one. Obviously, we've only got one change left. So we'll just calmly come from him. And he's happy. Good lad. I'll get a goal for us, please. This isn't a bad result so far. Magnussen. Can we launch an attack? There's the sub. Johnson. Encouraged by my positive feedback. Before he came on, Stan Grimson, he can cross a ball in. Didn't decide to do so there. It's Magnussen. 
back to centre back Tonchi Johnson Agnesson come on lads get it forward well done go on cross it cross it what are you doing yes Stephenson Stephenson oh saved by Magnusson. I think that's our first highlight of the game hopefully, hopefully we can pile on the pressure in the last 20 minutes of this one as Geyerson is looking very tired we've got a corner though Stephenson crosses it in headed away by Carlson Stephenson gets it again it's, it's Geyerson that was fortunate it's Tonchi to Ibiaga headed away by Fred Geyerson Tonchi's got the ball again that's given away again oh it's a long ball from Tonchi Johnson's there Victor Johnson saved by Magnussen we are piling the pressure on. Hopefully, KR can't get us on the counter attack. It's Johnson played out wide again. Okay, that's all right. Yes, that's the end of the highlight. Just wait until around the 80th minute to take his guys and off. Johnson has got a throw. Gets tackled though. It's Basagog with a chance for the counter attack for KR. Headed away. Well done, Radovnikovic. Snorris and Ibiaga. Right, come on, lads. That's all right. No, that was a bad pass. Tackle him. He looks dangerous, that Basagog. Must be a new signing for them. It's Egitsin saved by Aarons. Well done. I'm just going to make that change that I was talking about. So, um, his Barden's sharpness is awful, but his condition is better. His sharpness is equally bad. So, I'll bring Barden on. Hopefully, he can sure things up in defensive midfield for us. Forgot to do a team talk. Boop. Ten minutes left of this one. It's nil-nil. We're on top on possession. KR have done so many more shots than us. In the last few minutes of the game, are we going to hold on? In a stoppage time now. It looks like we are. There we go. Full time. Nil nil. I'm so happy with that result. I'll take a nil nil draw away from home any day of the week. Our defence just seems to be so much better this second half of this season it's not even the second half of the season just since since that bad run of form at the start of the season our defence just looks to be so much better um, I've just stopped doing the team talks because they rarely go green for me I've just let my assistant deal with them so that leaves us in 8th place if you're near the team just below us do have a game in hand um, but even if they win that we'll still be in ninth, which is Two places above the relegation zone. We're two points clear of relegation zone. Obviously, we would like to get some wins on the board. Just to pull ourselves away from that relegation fight a bit more. But as you can see there, we maintain our unbeaten record. Seven matches in a row without losing. Stretching back to the 2-0 victory against Bryder Blake. So in that time, we've had three wins, four draws and... We've only conceded in one game. That is pretty good. I'm very happy with that. Very happy. So we'll be back with the next match, which is against FH in the Icelandic Cup semi-final. It's Icelandic Cup semi-final day. It's FH versus Vikingur Reykjavik. FH are the favourites. There's a couple of interesting bits to get into the first is I think it was John Johnson just double check this I think John Johnson is playing his former club yes he is he spent a good while at FH he actually won the league with them in 2010 I think it was so John Johnson playing against his former club and then their number nine Rolf Toft what can be said about this guy he's just an absolute beast he is absolutely amazing I, I, there's, there's not enough words in the dictionary to explain how good of a striker he is. He's scored 14 goals in 18 games. Well, 14 goals in 20 games if he includes substitute appearances for FH. Obviously, he was our top scorer last season with a 
quite a few. He scored more than five. Obviously, there's only five in the league. But he is just a top quality act. And if we're going to get anything out of this cup game, we need to stop him. I uh, have brought in Palson. Palson comes back into the squad after serving on suspension in the last game. So Stephenson, B. Stephenson, drops to the bench. Victor Johnson comes back in at striker. Sigurdsson drops to the bench, 16-year-old. Obviously, we want to win the cup, so I'm going to put out the strongest side that I can. Uh, speaking of that, Snorrison has been switched to left-back to replace Kudrunzic because he's not been performing well in the past few games. So I brought John Johnson in at right-back. That's all the changes that I've made so far. Um, I just feel like we need to do so much to Rolf Toft. Just going to close him down. Just want a weaker foot as well as what my assistant suggests. I'm so seriously concerned about what he's going to do to us. But let's get into this Icelandic Cup semi-final match. I keep on wanting to call it the FA Cup. Of course it is the FA Cup. It's the Icelandic FA Cup, but it's not the FA Cup, is it? As Toft, well, it's going to be... Some scary feelings going around my body when he gets the ball. Not meant that wasn't meant to be in a weird way. Let's just move on. Um, Magnuson has been booked. Unfortunately, very unfortunate considering the role that he plays, ball winning midfielder. He's going to be making a few tackles, so it's a bit, a bit of a risk for us to keep him in there. Not many highlights. So far, we are bossing possession, and here we go. Here's a highlight. Johnson throws it to other Johnson. It's as Agnesson. Oh, I don't know what that was. Oscarson clears it. Toft. Their star man flicks that on. But Tonchi. I might actually change his name to just being Tonchi because Radov Nikovic is just ridiculous to try and say when you're commentating. And Stein Grimson. I mean, that's quite ridiculous to say as well when you're commentating. But rolls off the tongue a little bit better. It's Agnesson. Come on, lads. It's Gaiason. Look for the pass. Look for the easy one. That's an easy one. Cross it now. Yes, Johnson. Off the post. Oh my goodness, that would have been the perfect start. And to corner, Stein Grimson whips it in. Back post, Magnussen's there. Ibiaga, 1-0. Sebastian Ibiaga, the American centre-back with his first ever goal for us. That is a brilliant start. Not what I expected at all. 1-0 up after 15 minutes. Aaron's with a goal kick. Go on, Magnussen. Run down the wing, turn around. All that. Great pass from Palson to Johnson, is it? No, it's not. The defender got there. Now FH can come away on the attack. Uh, Toft's got the ball. Toft's got the ball. He's out wide. He's not going to score from... The oh, my. He nearly scored from there. That, that would have made me eat my words. Aaron's with a goal kick. And Benedictson heads that clear for FH. And it looks like they're coming back into this game. Good tackle from Magnussen, though. He's ball-winning midfielder. That is his job. It's Victor Johnson. Go on, Victor. Go on. Oh. That was too high and wide. Not at all handsome. I felt like a FIFA commentator there. And they've got a throw in deep in our half. It's Budvarsson, Vedersen, Palsen. Oh, they've equalised. 20 minutes gone, Emil Palsen with the equaliser. Just going to give a team talk. Encourage. We started this game so well. Obviously, expect a team like FH to come back into this. They are flying high in the league. They do have the main man, Rolf Toft. If we get in a position later on in this series where we are constantly in Europe, I really would like to get him back. So we, Arneson, this looks like FH are just going to start creating chance after chance now. It's Vidison, Toft, saved by Aaron's. Tonchi clears it. Not far enough though, it's Vidison. I'm sure I was looking to sign in him. And that's gone out of play, fortunately. Half an hour gone in this one. The highlights just keep on coming. No let up for my nerves whatsoever. There's John Johnson though. Run. Run Ellinger. 
Magnuson. It's got, oh, what are you doing as Gaiason? What are you doing? And now FH are on the attack. It's Palson. Good tackle from John Johnson. Can we do anything with it? Right, come on, Stefan. Play that ball that you love again. That was kind of the ball that you love, but not what I was expecting. Stein Grimson. Cross it. Johnson. Magnuson. Johnson. Oh, so close. That was so close to putting us back in front. But now we're right to the other end of the pitch. And FH have got a chance. And it's Arneson. Is he going to get a chance to cross it? And he gives it to Serwi. Oh, they've scored again. 2-1. They turn this around. Atlee Goodnesson with his 12th goal of the season. Mm. They're just having... They're making more of their, their opportunities, aren't they? We've had eight shots. We've only had one on target. It's not really a match-winning stat, is it? Just get it in the half-time at 2-1. We can maybe change a few things. There we go. Half time. We have been unlucky. FH are a better team than us. Snorris and looked to switch off. That's not good. Paulson not having the best of games. Neither was Snorris and maybe that's why he switched off. Johnson, two fullbacks having nightmares really. Uh, could bring Stephenson on, but I don't really think he brings much to the to the table to be honest and left back it's not really a role that's gonna inspire much creativity I think I'm gonna have to take Paulson off I'm just gonna have to hope that Stephenson can pull his finger out and make something happen if it gets to around 60 minutes and we still haven't scored I might just take Victor Johnson off Bring Sigurdsson on. Maybe you can do something wonderful. And as always, I do want to give one of these two a run out, Borden or Stephenson. Let's just have a look at their shot missed. 60%, 62%. Probably want to bring on... Well, I brought Borden on the last game, so I'll probably bring on Stephenson later on in this one. Obviously, that if Johnson and Magnussen don't get sent off, because they are both on yellow card. So here we go, start of the second half, and FH on the attack immediately. Good save from Aaron's. That was so obviously a cross. Goodness, and so obvious. And they cross it in. Can we clear it? Partially. It's Sirwi in space. Cleared by Stein Grimson before Toft could get his foot on that one. So possession still in our favour, just about. We just need to make more chances. We're getting lots of yellow cards as well, which isn't too encouraging. As Gaiason, as he seems to be doing, does get tired around the 50, 55, 60 minute mark. I might switch those subs round. I might take Johnson off after about 75, 70 minutes. I'll bring on the defence midfielder earlier. Stefan Simmel crossing. Ibiaga off the post. Oh, so close. And FH got the ball now. Palson. Toft, please don't let him score. Good save from Aaron's. And I'm going to make that sub now, just while the goalkeeper's got the ball. So, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, I am going to bring Sigurdsson on because Victor's not... Not in the best of shape, is he, really? Oh, I've just realised why he might not have been performing at his best, because I didn't change the role back to target man. But Sigurdsson's best role is poacher, so we'll just leave that like that. That explains a lot. Get out there, make a difference. So he seemed deep in thought. Probably shouldn't have said that. Oh, Johnson was actually injured. So, 16-year-old Sigurdsson comes on. Can he make himself a hero in this one? Is that Finn Boggerson? Is that the same one we had? Kjart Hansen. Arneson. Goodnesson. Good block. Tonchi. I have to remember to change his nickname. 
change his name even to his nickname. Fittison with the ball in. Finn Bogerson's there. Johnson headed it away when he really didn't need to. Aaron's just saved from Toft there. It's all FH. And Toft again. And I am going to make that final substitution now. And I'm going to bring Stephenson on for his Gaiason. See how this goes. 19 year old Stephenson. He's not expected to be much of a superstar. Pressure's off. Good. Calm them down. Probably should have said that to the striker, to be fair. But, you know. Oh, Sigurdsson, what are you doing? Oh, thanks, ref. Cheers. Don't want a 16 year old on a booking. That's just. It's just a nightmare waiting to happen, isn't it, really? Team talk. Mm, demand more. Hey, we are a very young outfit. I mean, if you look, we've got Sigurdsson, he's a teenager. Agnesson's a teenager. Stephenson's a teenager. We've got a, quite a young squad. Well, a few young, young eggs in there. Johnson with a throw. Can we get a chance? Stephenson, back to Johnson. Crosses it. Sigurdsson was there, but he got tackled easily, and Toft is on the attack now for FH. Gives it a Goodnison. We'll try to. And Grimson intercepted. Stephenson. The Stephenson boys passing it to each other. Sigurdsson. And that's a free kick. He's going to get sent off. He is going to get sent off, and we're going to try and take this to FH now. They're down to 10. Let's go to advanced tactics. We need to so put him on attack. Put him on attack. Changed some of their duties to attack. And then maybe change to attack in with like 10 minutes to go. Yeah, we're going to change to attacking. It's a possibility this is going to come back to bite us, but it is the cup. We've got to go for it. Didn't want to do that. That was an accident. Uh, team talk. Passionate. Push forward. Come on. Five minutes left, at least give get a chance. Come on, they've got ten men. Oh, and they've got the ball. Paulson, not the one that we want to have the ball. Vidison, back to Arneson. Can we win the ball from them? We can, Magnus. Oh. Okay, try again. Arneson, Stephenson, FH. For long ball and Ibiaga intercepts. Magnuson this time plays a good pass to Sigurdsson. Hughes gets tackled. Stephenson out wide, kind of, to Stein Grimson. Snorrison. It's Magnuson in the middle of the pitch. Stephenson play it through. Agnuson with a chance. Agnuson scores. It's an equaliser. It's 2 2 in the semi final with two minutes left. Erlinger Agnuson, the teenager. He was probably going to be wanted by a plethora of better teams in the summer. Say in the summer, I mean at the end of the season. But he's got the equaliser. Does this go to extra time? I feel like I must. Oh, Sigurdsson with a chance. Oh, he took too much time. That's that's just because he's 60 and he doesn't, doesn't have much composure, I guess. Oh my God, it's going to extra time. We've made all our subs. We just have to hope. They don't attend men as well, so really... Hopefully. But then they could get us on the counter-attack. It's, it's, it's anyone's guess who's going to win this one. Stephenson? It's Agnesson? Is he going to score again? <sighs> so nervous. Antonchi. He's, he's a rock at the back. Antonchi rid of Nikovic. I don't know our better players this season. Rolf Toft is injured. Kidding. Don't think they're going to take him off though, are they? 
Snorrison's got a yellow that's our fourth yellow card of the game I think that's probably more actually because maybe Stephenson did he have one not Stephenson Paul Paulson so we're coming up to half time in the first half of extra time and it's still 2-2 this one looks like it's going to go to penalties Gonna give a team talk. Just getting the push forward. Could be a bad move because obviously the Royal Cream Crackhead. Hopefully, so our FH. I mean, we're in the same league. Hopefully, we've both got the same sort of fitness levels. Sigurdsson has taken a knock. Can't take him off. I'm not taking him off. Oh no. Okay. Um. I'm gonna go back to control. Flexible. We'll play for penalties. Switch them back to support. Feel I should probably take him off. Can I take him off or not? I can't really. We'll just leave him on. He's 16, he should have a good recovery rate, shouldn't he? Surely. Agnesen. Play through. Stephenson. It's Sigurdsson, but he's injured. He gives it to Steingrimson. Oh my god, he should have scored. He should have scored. Stan Grimson with the, an ultimate opportunity to put us in the lead and put us through to the final. Just couldn't take it. Some of my players are on less than 50% condition. This is just scary. There's going to be lots of injuries. Off Toft has got another gashed head. Is he like getting kicked in the face repeatedly or something? It's Agnesen. Oh, come on. Go on. Sigurdsson. Oh. I don't even think if he was, wasn't was injured, he would have scored that one. So both strikers actually have picked up knocks. It's interesting. Off Toft with a gashed head, and his name just went out of my head. Sigurdsson with a damaged heel. And this one is going to go to a penalty shootout. Less than a minute of stoppage time, in extra time left. We have a throw, barring some sort of miracle or disaster, this is going to penalties. Arneson, Ibiaga intercepted, Stephenson, Magnussen nearly got it, no nope, he didn't get it, yeah this highlight's not going to go anywhere, but there's The Rock, that's a good nickname for him, maybe I'll call him The Rock, yeah I think I'll call Tonchi The Rock, so penalty, penalty should out, it was on its way, obviously, <sighs> Sigurdsson not taking a penalty. Uh, Magnussen, I'm just going to go down the list. If I auto pick, does that do that? No, it doesn't. Okay, Magnussen, Stephenson, Johnson, Stephenson, The Rock, Ibiaga, Snorrison. Steingrimson, Ahrens, and I don't want Sigurdsson to have to take a penalty, I really don't. But let's start the dreaded penalty shootout. Oh my god. Oh, 1-0 to FH. I feel like this is just going to go bad, we never score penalties in the matches anyway, but Magnussen scores. Whew. Well done. It's one penalty down. Oh, Rolf. He scores, obviously. It's Erico Stephenson. Brilliant penalty, that one. It made the keeper go the wrong way. It's Emil Palsen for FH. Saved by Aaron's. Yes, son. Come on. Who's next up for us? John Johnson. Get in. 
Yes. Kjortensen for FH. He scores. If we score this, does that mean we're through? One Stephenson. Oh, they saved it. You fucking saved it. Oh. Come on, Aaron, save another one, please. Get in, son. Oh, this keeper. Oh, it's the rock. Oh, he's missed. Again, we'd missed. That was, we've had two chances to wrap this penalty shootout up. Come on, Aaron, make a third save, please. He does. Oh my God, come on, we just need to score. We need to score. Come on, Sebastian, you've scored. Get in, yes, we're into the final. We're into the final of the Icelandic Cup. Sebastian Ibiaga, the American centre-back, with the goal, the rock missed his penalty. That is just the rock bottom. That is a terrible joke. I'm not even gonna, yeah, sorry about that. That, we're through to a cup final. I'm so happy. I'm just ecstatic at that. That is, oh my God. I mean, we made ourselves work for it. I mean, going having to go to extra time and penalties is hard enough, let alone having the opportunity, was it twice? Three times? I think it was twice. Having the opportunity, or three times, having the opportunity three times to actually finish the penalty shootout and win, but missing twice. And then Sebastian Abiyaga, I'm just rambling, but Sebastian Abiyaga with the winning penalty, scored in the game as well. Oh, I'm just, that's unbelievable. Unbelievable stuff. Who are we going to play in the final? When's the next game? Sindri against Lykenia Reykjavik. It could be an all Reykjavik tie. And obviously they're our bogey team. We haven't actually beaten them yet. I don't think we have anyway. I don't actually know what I'm doing. So that is it for this video and it's not going to be long until we're back in fact because the Icelandic Cup final is in three games time. So I'll play the Breiderblick and FH league games offline and then we'll be back for the Icelandic Cup final against either Sindri or Lykenia Reykjavik. This has been one hell of an episode to come back with. <laughs> We've extended our unbeaten run, what is it now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine games unbeaten. This is, when you compare it to the start of the season, that it's just unbelievable. I'm so proud of the lads. We're through to a cup final, our first cup final, and it'll either be against Sindri or Lightning or Reykjavik. That is it for this episode. I can't wait till the next one. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below what you think is going to happen with this series. If you think I'm going to get sacked, tell me that. If you think that we're going to win the cup, who, who do you think is going to win the match between Sindri and like Nia Reykjavik? Who, who are we going to be playing in the final? Are we going to stay up this season? There's just so many questions. Will we ever beat KR? Will we ever beat like Nia Reykjavik? Are we going to have to beat like Nia Reykjavik in the final? I've just... So many questions. My head feels like it's about to explode. But we're into the cup final, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time for the Icelandic Cup final.